Hi, it's Katrina. From the oldest book ever found to the eerie mystery of a baby found buried in a jar, here are 10 archaeological mysteries that science can't figure out. Number 10. The Golden Etruscan Orphic Book This book is considered to be the oldest book in the entire world. It is also one of the most mysterious books ever. The gold book is made of 24 karat gold, consisting of six sheets with text and illustrations. The illustrations depict a man riding a horse, a horse with deer horns, and a legendary creature that appears to be a griffin, with the head and wings of an eagle and the lower body of a lion. There is a mermaid, a harp, and soldiers. Written in the lost Etruscan language, the book is actually quite small, only about two inches in length probably because it was made in such a valuable and expensive material. The gold manuscript was discovered inside of a tomb completely by accident while workers were digging out a canal in southern Bulgaria. At the time this book was made, over 2,000 years ago, around the year 600 BC, Bulgaria was largely occupied by the Thracians. But the book was written by the Etruscans, who migrated from Turkey to Italy about 3,000 years ago. The book probably made it to Thracian lands through trade before the Etruscans were wiped out and absorbed by the Romans in 400 BC. The quality is unparalleled in the world of ancient books and even artwork. Whoever made this amazing artifact was a very advanced goldsmith who used some of the most progressive techniques known to the Etruscans. Experts from both London and Sofia confirmed the book's authenticity. Even though similar gold pages have been found throughout the ancient world, according to Elka Penkova from the National History Museum in Sofia, this is the oldest remaining example of multiple pages being linked together to form a book from ancient times. Number 9. The Oldest Home in History In a cave in South Africa, archaeologists say they have found the earliest human home in history. Located in Vanderwerk Cave in the Kalahari Desert, Evidence shows that early humans were using the cave as a home over two million years ago. Modern humans didn't even exist that long ago, but our early ancestors found caves to be great homes. Researchers from the University of Toronto tested the cave sediments and found evidence of fire. Not only were early humans living in the cave that long ago, they were also making stone tools. But here is the really mysterious part. Archaeologists have never found a single scrap of human remains meaning no bones, no teeth, and no kind of biological evidence to suggest that humans have ever lived inside the cave. So how do researchers know that the place was occupied by humans if their bodies have never been found? The earliest evidence of humans using fire was found very deep inside the cave. Researchers found burned animal bones and the ashy remains of plants, suggesting the humans in this cave were the first to control fire for means of cooking. They also found traces of basal sediment, something produced when a retreating glacier grinds against bedrock. They say the sediment probably got tracked into the cave by the humans living inside it. Of course, it's important to note that when I say humans, I don't mean like us. These were not humans as we know them, but are very, very ancient relatives. But definitely not apes, because they were able to make fire and use it in an organized way. These are the missing links that separate us humans from the great apes. Number 8. Mysterious Gold Crown A rare and mysterious gold crown believed to be over 2,000 years old was recently discovered inside of a rotting cardboard box underneath an elderly man's bed in England. This story is as strange as it sounds. First, the elderly man has requested to remain anonymous. He doesn't want any trouble to come from owning one of the most valuable ancient crowns in existence. He apparently inherited the crown from his grandfather and put it away, forgetting about it over the years. When he decided to root through some of his old stuff, he came upon the gold wreath. It is still perfectly preserved after being around since basically the time of Alexander the Great. The wreath, or crown, it can be called both, was used in the days of ancient Greece to crown artists and athletic superstars during competitions. It was also used in religious ceremonies. And according to the auctioneers who are about to put the ancient relic up for sale, it should be worth more than $200,000. The auctioneer charged with getting the most out of this mysterious wreath, a man named Guy Schwing, says the artifact probably came from the Hellenistic period, between 323 BC and 31 BC, though it's incredibly difficult to properly date this kind of thing. It was probably made in northern Greece. 
Its composition is pure gold, and at the time it would have been hammered and molded into shape by a blacksmith. But the real mystery here is how this guy's grandfather got a hold of a perfectly preserved artifact worth so much money. He never told his grandson, and now we have no way of knowing where it came from. Number 7. Papyrus Oxyrhynchus 90 When it comes to confusing ancient codes, there isn't anything quite like a manuscript known as Papyrus Oxyrhynchus 90, or P. Oxy 90 for short. Sounds kind of like the workout program, right? But not quite. It was found in the Egyptian city of Oxyrhynchus, written sometime between 179 and 180, and believed to be a simple receipt written in Greek for the payment of wheat. At its core, this small manuscript written on papyrus is very simple, but it also holds a great mystery. Nobody knows who the author was, and the final two lines of the manuscript have never been translated into any modern language. Nobody knows what they say. The rest of the receipt is Greek, but these two final lines are some kind of demotic writing and possibly a cryptogram. The truth is that nobody knows why the last two lines are so mysterious. They should be completely boring texts related to someone's wheat receipt, and yet they appear to be as cryptic as it comes. Number 6. Mysterious Amphipolis Tomb The Ministry of Culture in Greece confirmed that the entrance to a secret underground room was found underneath the vast burial site of the Amphipolis Tomb. This tomb comes from the era of Alexander the Great, and for the longest time, archaeologists feared they would never discover the secret of who was buried inside. But after discovering the hidden underground vault, some very interesting revelations have been brought to light. First of all, whoever's remains were hidden inside the ancient tomb have been guarded by a pair of sphinx sculptures for about 2,000 years. The tomb and its many chambers date back to between 325 and 300 BC. So far, all clues point to the tomb belonging either to the wife or mother of Alexander the Great. Experts say everything about it hints that it was intended for a very important woman. Some experts believe, however, that it was intended for his friend, Hephaestion, not his wife or mother. Before this find, experts had found three chambers and thought the third was the last, but since it was empty, it had probably already been looted over the many years it's been abandoned. Unfortunately, this ancient, very mysterious tomb has yet to be completely excavated. Archaeologists are hoping to open it to visitors in 2022, but there has never been confirmation of who was buried there. The research team is on the lookout for a throne or a marble case where a golden urn may have been placed that might give us some answers. Number 5. The Oldest Map Ever There is a stone slab that was crafted in the Bronze Age that appears to depict the oldest map ever found in Europe. The stone map was pretty broken when discovered, with the large upper piece of it missing. Made on a slab of stone about 9 feet long and 6 feet wide, it dates back from sometime between 2150 and 1600 BC. Found in 1900 in France, it shows a known territory that researchers were able to understand. After the stone map was found, it was acquired by the National Archaeological Museum of France and stored there until researchers discovered it stuffed in the cellar in 2014. Dr. Clement Nicholas from Bournemouth University took an interest in the slab and began to study it. What Dr. Clement found was that the stone shows many elements of a prehistoric map, such as lines and repeated motifs. It was soon discovered that the piece of stone had been purposely shaped three-dimensionally in an attempt to replicate the valley of the River Odette, with lines trying to show the extensive network of rivers. It was a map of its creator's area. What scientists don't know is why the map was created. It could have been somebody's doodle. It could have been a strategic plan. Maybe someone trying to draw a map of the territory to control more land. Either way, it's 4,000 years old, the oldest cartographical representation of any territory in Europe, and a total mystery. Number 4. Old Bronze Mirrors Have you ever wondered how long people have been able to see their reflection? Archaeologists working to excavate a cemetery in China discovered around 80 very curious mirrors that have been dated back 2,000 years. According to the head of the archaeological team, Zhu Yingpei, ancient humans were casting mirrors using a large variety of different methods. Because the collection of mirrors was found to be so complete, many of them are still able to reflect images as if they were brand new. It's believed that the mirrors were meant to bring life and light into the darkness of the tomb. Thanks to the Silk Road, bronze mirrors became more popular, and the designs were inspired by art from other parts of the world, including India, Persia, and Egypt. 
Because of all the different crafting methods, the mirrors range in size from around 3 to 9 inches. They were inlaid with jade and turquoise and designed only for the elite by skilled artisans. Inside the actual graves, archaeologists found men and women buried with their mirrors tucked close to their heads or to their upper bodies. And even more fascinating is that the mirrors were found to be inscribed with hopes of a better future in the afterlife. For example, some phrases said eternal joy, others said long memory, and some even said family wealth. If these phrases sound familiar, that's because they are. 2,000 years later, people are still using similar inspirational or meaningful phrases on social media posts. The tombs here probably belong to elite members of the Han, but scientists still aren't entirely sure about the meaning attached to the mirrors. Perhaps there is more meaning in being able to see your own reflection thousands of years ago. People have always wanted to look good, and having a mirror helps. They probably meant much more to people than just being pretty and wishing people luck in the afterlife. Number 3. Oldest Mexican Tomb Archaeologists working in southern Mexico found the remnants of a tomb that dates back 2,700 years, and professionals are saying that it could be the oldest burial of its kind ever performed in Mesoamerica. The tomb contains the body of a man who had been buried with jade and obsidian artifacts, ceramic vessels, and other grave goods. Archaeologist Emiliano Gallaga says the tomb dates back to between 500 and 700 BC, or about 2,500 years ago. There were also earlier burials, but experts say that this is the earliest example of an important person being buried inside of a pyramid, and of a pyramid being used as a tomb rather than a religious site or a religious temple. Back then, the pre-Hispanic cultures constructed pyramids to mimic the universe as they knew it, with levels leading from the underworld all the way into the heavens. At the highest part of the pyramid was almost always a temple, but not at this pyramid, which was found in the state of Chiapas, built by the Soque Indians. It's about 1,000 years older than the pyramid tomb at the archaeological site of Palenque. The man buried here was probably the ruler of the area. He was interred inside of a stone chamber at the bottom of a small pyramid. But as of right now, archaeologists don't know exactly who the man buried here was, if the pyramid had anything to do with the Maya or the ancient Olmecs, or why they moved from normal burials to placing bodies under pyramids. Number 2. Baby in a Jar In Israel, the body of a baby has been found buried inside of a jar, and nobody knows why. Archaeologists were shocked when they discovered the ancient jar, which dates back to 3,800 years old, and saw the skeleton of a baby inside. One of the theories is that the ancient people thought babies were so fragile that they needed to be protected by the environment, even when deceased, so they put them in a jar, perhaps meant to represent the womb. It's a commendable idea, but not one that has ever been confirmed. We don't know why people buried infants in jars, but we do know that they did it all the way from the Bronze Age to the dawn of the 20th century. This particular baby in a jar burial was found in the ancient city of Jaffa, one of the earliest port cities on the planet. It has been continuously occupied since the year 900 BC. As part of the excavation, archaeologists also found coins from the Crusaders, the remains of two horses, and 232 seashells, probably gathered from the nearby Mediterranean Sea. Number 1. Genghis Khan's Winter Home Genghis Khan lived from between 1162 to 1227 AD. He founded the second largest empire in the history of the planet, but when he wasn't busy leading the Mongols on a series of campaigns, he was hunkering down in his winter home. Up until now, nobody knew where this mysterious winter home was. But now researchers from Australian National University believe they have discovered the mysterious location of the Great Khan's winter hideout. Scientists used soil samples from Avraja, an ancient site that has yielded little in the way of physical evidence, located near the Avraja River, to determine that the place was occupied throughout the time that Genghis Khan was alive, as well as with his son after his death. The experts at the university are now saying that he probably made his camp at this place by the river for spring and winter and that it was probably the main base camp before the Mongol Empire pushed south into the Yuan Empire of China. This site was largely abandoned after the 14th century. The only things archaeologists have found have been leftover bones, and as for the great Genghis Khan's actual burial tomb, it has still never been found. But discovering the place he once called home is definitely a great first step in trying to track down the final resting place of the Khan of Khans. Thanks for watching. 
Which of these mysterious discoveries did you find the most compelling? Which one do you want to learn more about? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.